Now, red eye is the problem of having blood actually showing through the light flash hitting the eyes. It lights up the eyes and the blood vessels and bounces that blood back through the iris. Uh, and so what can happen to remove red eye in the actual shooting process, I recommend as a photographer, is to make sure you're actually having your flash a distance from the camera. So when the, the flash and the camera are too close to the same angle, that's how you get red eye, which does happen with cell phones uh, and even some of the uh, nicer cameras if you have a pop-up flash. I'll go ahead and zoom in, make this piece a little bit larger. I can go ahead and zoom by clicking the zoom tool and zooming in a bit, clicking and dragging, allows me to zoom in and to see it in or out. I'm going to go ahead and zoom and see the eyes nice and close. But before I do that, we should go ahead and make sure the book has you go ahead and save it as. We'll go ahead and use it as a save as red eye working file, make it as a PSD, Photoshop file, and hit save. The red eye option is not that difficult. You'll find that tool inside the different healing brushes, the automatic tool, the red eye sample tool. Now you might have to adjust your settings a little bit, depending on what your settings are in your camera. You'll probably have different options. I want to adjust the pupil size to 23, the darken amount to 62. And all I do is go ahead and click in the pupil, and click, and click. And with a matter of literally two clicks, you've fixed the problem of the red eye. Now the pupil still looks kind of funny, but we've at least removed the ugly red glare out of the eyes. Now, not every image will be that quick and easy to repair. Sometimes you have to click and drag around the red eye, but Photoshop has done a pretty good job of making those adjustments. Thanks for watching Better Picks in just a few clicks. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos on how to take your photography to the next level.